Chinese President Hu Jintao has called for three trade and investment liberalization during his address at the Asia Pacific Economic Summit in Singapore. The Chinese leader has also put forward a four point proposal to boost economic growth and revive the world economy. For more on this, I'm now joined by financial expert Max Kaiser, who is in Paris. Uh, hello to you, Mr. Kaiser. Now, is China trying to reduce its dependency on the U.S. as trading partner? Sure, the China would love to reduce its dependency on the U.S. and dependency is a good word. The U.S. dollar has become the opium of international trade and China is addicted to U.S. opium dollars. Remember, the U.S. loaned China over a trillion dollars so that uh, China would be able to export lots of products back to uh, America. But uh, America has absolutely no intention whatsoever of repaying China that one trillion dollars. America will never pay China back that one trillion dollars. And they're forcing China to buy more dollars to keep their own currency from rising, thus killing their export market. That's why China is buying lots of this stuff, gold bullion. They can't get enough of gold bullion. India is buying gold bullion. China is buying gold bullion as a way to hedge themselves against these things. This is uh, Warren Buffett toilet paper. Warren Buffett toilet paper here, the U.S. dollar. It's going to zero, and China has got itself into a conundrum because their entire economy is based on U.S. consumers buying uh, Chinese products financed by the U.S. Uh, moving a tremendous amount of paper through the system and that paper is now becoming worthless. Trying desperately to manage their domestic economy and to grow their domestic economy, they're doing a lot more trade with countries like Japan and South Korea, again to get themselves away from this U.S. dollar dependency. And how effective will President Obama's visit to China be in ending the numerous trade snipes between the two countries? Well, uh, Barack Obama is uh, not going with much in terms of leverage to try to get any, any of these partners to the table in any meaningful way, unless he wants to sell China California, which I would imagine Governor Schwarzenegger would be ready to sell China California as a way to try to rebalance the incredible imbalances between these two countries. Other than that, or selling China all of America's roads, tunnels and bridges, or something of value, the only thing well, Barack Obama has are more dollars. And the Federal Reserve and the Treasury and Goldman Sachs and J.P. Morgan are happy to just keep printing dollars. And so China is forced to buy dollars as a way to prevent their own currency from rising in terms of their markets. And they're scrambling desperately to get out from underneath this dependency and to recover, to become, really, they should start a program in China called Americans Anonymous, which would be a program to get themselves over their dependency and addiction to American dollars and the American economy. Cashed up and looking for bargains, China's state-owned companies have been spending up big in Australia buying iron and steel producer Midwest last year for around a billion US dollars, offering almost two billion US dollars for a friendly takeover of the debt-ridden Oz minerals, almost 20 billion US dollars for a stake in mining giant Rio Tinto. Both deals might yet be blocked by the Australian government. China has enough money to spend, more money than it can actually spend. Two state-owned oil companies in Russia received a $25 billion loan from China. In return, China gets 300,000 barrels a day for 20 years, the biggest energy deal ever between the two countries. With so many governments and companies strapped for cash, they're turning to the one place that's all cashed up. And along the way, analysts say China is not only buying political influence, but also securing energy and minerals possibly for decades to come at a bargain. John Vos, CNN Beijing. China said uh, this week, and this is a quote, we hate you. We hate you. you they said it twice. You spend uh, one and two trillion dollars. What choice do we have? You are devaluing your dollar. The Chinese Army Battle Group says it's ready for the China-Russia joint military exercise with final preparations underway. Zheng Suwei has the story. The Chinese Army Battle Group consists of an armed force affiliated to a mechanized army contingent of Shenya Military Area Command. The main equipment includes tanks, howitzers, anti-aircraft missiles and gunship helicopters. 
The battle group is divided into three combat contingents, one artillery contingent, one commando unit, one air defense contingent, one army aviation contingent, and logistic support. During a field maneuver, these contingents will jointly achieve the anti-terrorism task. We have worked out contingency plans for complex weather conditions, also conducting LALO or low altitude opening parachuting, helicopter attacks and other task oriented exercise. The Russian army group consists of a large number of personnel and equipment. To deal with this, the Chinese battle group has adopted measures to strengthen command coordination and ground logistics between two armies. The Russian and Chinese battle groups will hold rehearsals and joint training before they carry out field maneuvers.